Hi everybody, it's school holidays where I live and I was thinking to myself you might be looking for some projects for your kiddies to do to keep them occupied over the next couple of weeks. So one project that's super easy for the kids to do and even if you're not a kid and you want to have a go at uh, making an, a really easy soap is to have a go at making melt and pour soap. So melt and pour soap is just a solid soap base that comes to you in a container like this. Um, all you simply do is melt it and, and add your uh, fragrances and colours to it and it's a really fun project. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to make that today and we'll go through just the few things that you need to get started. Firstly being the melt and pour soap base. So this is a, a white base melt and pour soap. Uh, you can also get clear. When you add colourants to this one, uh, it will tend to be pastel -y sort of colours and if you get the clear one, you'll tend to have a little bit more vibrancy in the colour in your soap. But they're both perfectly good soaps to use. This particular one is a goat's milk soap that has mango butter added to it, so that'll be lovely in our soaps. Uh, and all we need to do is get this out of the container and we'll start the melting process for that shortly. But to add to our soap, once that's melted, we're going to add some essential oils. Now you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I'm just going to add some just to add another layer to my soap. And I'm also going to add some colorants. So this is indigo clay uh, for soap making. Uh, you can use other ingredients and just search the internet to see other kinds of things you can use. You can use cocoa, you can use spirulina, you can have poppy seeds, all kinds of things. But I'm going to use this today. I'm just going to add it to half my soap batter so I can show you how to make a decorative effect. The other ingredient that we're going to need is uh, isopropyl, which uh, in Australia you can get this brand Isocol, usually from the chemist or the supermarket, uh, pretty easily. In other countries you will know it as rubbing alcohol. The other thing you're going to need is a mould. So uh, today I'm going to use this soap making mould, uh, which is a silicon insert inside a timber box. But if you don't have one of those, you can use a... Um, a loaf pan that's silicon as well that you can get fairly cheaply from discount stores. So that's another option for you or you could even use silicon little cupcake moulds, things like that. And this is a uh, decorative dessert mould. Uh, I use these for soap making uh, and you can find those in discount stores sometimes as well. So there's some fun little ideas for your moulds but generally you can use anything as long as you can peel it away. So silicon is nice and rubbery so we can peel that away from the soap. You could even use a washed out juice or UHT milk container if you didn't have anything. So it's perfectly safe. You can use any equipment that you have in the kitchen because we're not working with lye. That part's already done for us. Uh, and it's really fun for the kids. So I hope you have fun with it and uh, we'll get started. Before we get started melting our soap, we just need to get uh, the colorant ready if you're going to use one. So this is half a tablespoon or two teaspoons of clay and I'm going to add the same amount in this rubbing alcohol. So just stir that with a spoon and then that way it's ready for when our soap butter comes out of the microwave. The best way to get the soap out of the box is to run a knife around the edge and then it should just pop out. So you just need to chop that into squares. Just the finer you chop it, the uh, less time it will take to melt. So just try to make them um, nice small squares to go into the bowl. Okay, so now we've got it into our bowl. So we're going to pop this in the microwave now, uh, 30 second bursts. So 30 seconds, give it a stir, and then just keep repeating that process until it's completely melted and nice liquid state. So I'm going to go away and do that. Okay, so here's our melted soap batter and it just looks like milk. Uh, it's really thin and I've melted in the microwave, probably took about five or six minutes. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to separate these into uh, a jug. I was going to use two jugs, but I'm just going to separate one into one and then I'll add the uh, rest of the color into the rest of the uh, bowl. I'm just going to put a little bit of white on top and this is quite hot so you might want to use oven mitts while you're doing this and now I'm going to add this colorant to the rest of my soap so I'm trying to go for a bit of an ocean effect I suppose you could say pour that colorant in there just make sure that it's nicely dispersed through our soap so we'll pour the blue into our mold
So now I'm going to just very lightly spray the top of this soap mold just to get rid of any bubbles. A lot of bubbles would have formed on there while we were heating the soap batter. So just a nice light spray and that will get rid of the soap bubbles. So now I'm going to leave this undisturbed for three hours uh, and when we come back it'll be totally set so we can cut it into bars and the best thing about this is there's no waiting after that. Once it's cut into bars and it's hard, uh, it's ready to go. So we all know kids have zero patience and you know, some of us adults fall into that category too. But once we cut it into bars, you can give it to them and say, go and have a bath and you never know, they just might. We'll come back soon and see what it looks like. Okay, so now we're up to the fun bit. It's been about three hours since we poured this into the mold. And I can tell that it's ready because when I checked it, uh, it's quite firm on the outside, so I could feel that there. The other giveaway is that when I pull the silicon away from the side of the soap, it is leaving a clean uh, separation. So I'll take this out of the mold and we'll cut it and we'll see what kind of an effect we got. Loving that color. Okay. So there's our soap. So now it's time to cut it. And it's crazy when you make soap from scratch that you can do this melt and pour method and pour it in the mold and it's ready to cut straight away. So look at that, there's our soap. It's beautiful and smooth. And I didn't get that much of a uh, effect running through it with the white, but it still looks awesome if, if you, um, have a look closely, there's actually a little tiny bit of a marbling effect in there. So we'll just cut the rest of it up. And I just think the kids are gonna love this so much. It's so easy, uh, it's really effective, and uh, you might have some clean teenagers on your hands after they've made this, if you're lucky.